I got a new job making chess pieces. It's just a shame I'm on nights next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the no, don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. A lot of us own Amazon streaming devices, in particular, the Amazon Fire Stick and also Fire TV Cubes. And in this video, I'm quickly going to show you a few settings you may want to turn off. So let's get straight into it. I don't want to waste too much of your time. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max, but this is going to work the same on any Amazon device. And one thing I will say is comment down below what streaming device you use. But yeah, there's a few settings that you might want to change for various different reasons. And if we go across to settings at the top, we're going to first of all go down and across to where it says preferences. You see it? I'm trying to dodge. <laughs> so once you've clicked on preferences, you're going to see there's a few different options. Now, a lot of people might not know what to change or what these settings actually are. So as you can see, you've got quite a few options inside here. And the first one we are going to look at is privacy settings. Inside privacy settings, we've got device usage data. And if you look next to that, it does say use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. So basically what that's saying is Amazon is collecting your personal data. The majority of time it will be for marketing purposes so they can serve you relevant ads and things. But a lot of people prefer to turn that off because they don't like the thoughts of it. And then underneath that, we've got collect app usage data. And next to that, it says allow app store to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded apps. Now, I don't really want Amazon monitoring my, what I'm doing inside applications or how frequently I'm using them. And especially if you're somebody that likes to use third party apps, you might want to consider turning this off also. But one thing I will say, if you're somebody that uses the likes of Prime Video, and stuff like that, a few people have had issues previously when changing settings. So make sure you know or take note of the settings you are changing so you can revert back to the normal, like default settings if anything's not working for you. Underneath that, we've got interest-based ads. Next to it, allow apps on this device to use your advertising ID to show internet-based adverts that display products and services that might be of interest to you. So basically, do I want to see relevant ads? And I, I never click on ads on here anyway, so I'm going to turn it off. But yeah, underneath usage data, they're the main ones because the pe a lot of people feel like Amazon are like tracking them, or not tracking them as such, but just being a bit nosy. Underneath that, we've got data monitoring. So inside that, we've got data monitoring, monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire TV stick, and... You could leave this on, especially if you're somebody that likes to use a mobile hotspot or you've got a data cap on your internet, then you can monitor how much data your Fire Stick or streaming device is using. You can also lower the video quality to not use as much data. And you can also set a data alert. So some people might find that useful. I don't use it personally, so I turn it off. Because another thing with data monitoring is it's a process that's obviously running in the background, monitoring how much data you've used. You don't know if that's really going to affect performance or anything, or if it's going to cause buffering. But any processes that I'm not using that are running in the background, I'd rather turn off. Underneath data monitoring, we've got notification settings. Now... Since I recently did the Fire Stick update, I've been getting random notifications about music that I don't even have on here. But if you're getting notifications and you don't want them for a particular app, you can turn it off or you can just turn on Do Not Interrupt. So if I quickly go back to the home screen, you're going to see at the top there, you've got like an advertisement or a sponsored clip at the top. And then it starts playing a video preview. Now, a lot of people don't like this. The reason being, I'll just start playing that now again. He starts playing a video Let's preview. Go. One of us left to get the excavator to get it. can get annoying. Now, there is a way to turn these off. Same again, we go to settings, preferences, go down to where it says featured content, and now you've got allow video autoplay or allow audio autoplay. So if you don't mind the video, but you don't like the audio, you can turn the sound off, but... When you're navigating on your Fire Stick on the home screen, you never know if that featured content is using up some of the resources, which may make it run a bit slower. 
or it might feel a bit laggy. So I just like to turn those off because I never watched that sponsored reel at the top. So I'll go back, see I've got notification again. Look, music. I don't, I don't even know why I'm getting that. Doing my tits in. <laughs> and I'm sorry this is boring as well, but it's just one of those videos where a lot of people have bought fire sticks and it's recently been updated, all the interface and everything. So I just like covering newer videos. And then another thing we want to do is go up to where it says applications. And you're going to see a couple here. You've got the app store. Now inside here, you've got external marketing links. I would recommend you either click on don't open or leave it as ask before opening so it doesn't just randomly direct you to different links. You've got in-app purchases. I'd recommend turning this off, especially if you've got kids that use your Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube. Let's be honest, you're not really going to be making in-app purchases on these devices. And if you are, you can come and turn that on and then turn it back off when you've done. It says manage my subscriptions. Can't click it, don't know why. <laughs> and then underneath that, we've got manage installed applications. Now, one thing I will say is try to monitor how much internal space you've got available. So I've got 2.74 gigabyte available of 5.3. The reason I say that is because if your Fire Stick's rammed with apps and downloaded content, you might start to see it run pretty slow. Another thing you can do as well, a lot of people like to do this once a week. I don't tend to do it that often, and some people choose to do it every time they come on their device. If you click on an application, you can go and clear the cache. If I just move me out of the way there, you can see at the bottom it says cache, and then how much storage that's taking up. If I click on clear cache, it'll change to zero. Just note that that cache will start building back up. Or you can use the quick keys as well, which is the rewind button. And as you see above my head, that'll clear the cache as well. Felt like something were crawling on me then. It's horrible, isn't it? And also when it comes to streaming, a VPN can be very useful. One I recommend is IP Vanish. What this can do is change the location of your device or your IP address meaning your internet service provider can't see what you are doing online. Can't see if you're watching dodgy streams or anything like that. So if you're somebody that's wanting to up your privacy, then I would recommend checking out a VPN. I will leave links in the description down below. They are affiliated links, so they do help support the channel, but they don't cost you any more. And if you do use my links, I want to say... Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So those are the Fire Stick settings you should know about and consider turning off. I hope this video has helped you and don't forget, let me know in the comment section down below what streaming device it is you are using. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!